One of my most powerful memories from childhood is the number six school bus. But this memory is also tinged with sadness. Because today, about a quarter of the kids who rode that bus with me are no longer alive. Honestly, it just sucks, man. I had everything I wanted in my early 20s. I have nothing now. We can get prostitutes, we can get drugs. This is no place for a child to be, even an adult. I mean, I heard he sort of blew himself up yeah. making math, yeah. Yeah. Left a big hole in the world. Left in my heart, too. I'm Nicholas Kristoff. My wife, Cheryl, and I have worked together for decades, covering some of the greatest injustices of our time. Nicholas Kristoff and Cheryl Wooden. Their coverage won them a Pulitzer Prize. Which but we've become increasingly shocked by what's been taking place here in America. Now, Nick and I are traveling across the country into the heart of communities battling despair. America is unique when it comes to inequality. We are the richest country on the planet with the worst poverty. That's who we are. My wife said, please call me. That's all she wrote. That text message, I knew my brother was dead. You're taught that anyone who used these drugs are evil people. You're not given any indication that these are people who are dealing with health issues. We're in the worst affordable housing crisis in years, maybe decades. To four families living in a single wide. Yes. We want to understand how so many people fell through the cracks and what can be done to change things. I'm not rich. I have two roommates. I don't own my house. I barely own a running car. But there needs to be people that are willing to say, hey, let me help you. I think it takes a village for someone to succeed. If it wasn't for the support, I don't think I would have just done it. Whether or not there will be opportunity for everyone, that's the question that we're facing right now as a nation. So it's time for a new version of the American dream. One that includes everybody 